I'm Rebecca and these are my reviews and I have a ton of stuff. This is my new and interesting things. Most of this stuff was sent to me so if I have any sort of discount or anything like that I will put that in the description box as well as links to where you can find these products if you are interested in finding them. <laughs> okay so let's just go through this because I have a ton of stuff. Okay let me move this out of my way. Okay, first thing, <laughs> my husband actually bought me these. <laughs> they are Reebok shoes. They're the most ridiculous shoes I've ever seen. I mean, literally, it just, it looks like I stepped on the Grinch. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture of me wearing these. They were on sale, I think down from like $250 or something ridiculous for 40 bucks. And um, he knows that I love ridiculous things and Christmas. So um, I've been working out in these and they're comfortable and mostly they're just, fun, you know? I mean, who doesn't want some weirdo, fuzzy, green and red sneakers, huh? Huh? <laughs> Next, I actually just picked this up from my P.O. box. This is from a company called Lumi Deodorant. Let's see, it's vegan, aluminum-free, 48-hour odor control, and cruelty-free. Now, since I just picked this up, I haven't even tried it out or anything, so I'm very curious. Okay, so they sent me two of them. I think it's the same formula. Yeah, it's just that this has one of those dispensers with like all the little holes in the top, and then you kind of push it up. So it's more of a liquidy formula. It's deodorant for both your underarms and your private parts. So if you've got some stinky junk, you can just, you know, wipe a little of this down there and you're good to go for 48 hours. So I will try this out and I will give you a follow-up review as soon as I have actually tried it and let you know how it goes. The other dispenser, by the way, is just like a pump top. I guess this is, I mean, you could like pump it into your hands and rub it in your pits or, you know, on your parts, that kind of a thing. I have some more deodorant in here too. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, this is from Native, which I have reviewed Native before. When I did my original review, which I'll put in the description box, I'll link that video, um, they did not yet have a baking soda free version. And then they came out with one and I bought it. It's the Cotton and Lily scent and I love it. I've repurchased it several times. I really love this deodorant. And they finally came out with another scent. So now they have the Cotton and Lily, which smells really nice. And then this one is Coconut and Vanilla. I definitely get more vanilla out of this, it, but it's it smells, it smells good and it works just as well. I really love this brand, Native. But I know a lot of people have complained that it irritated their skin or they don't like it for whatever reason, but for me, it works, so you know. Okay, let's talk about my tattoo. Have you seen my tattoo on my last several videos? I've got this one and then this one here. This one is definitely fading. I put these on like a week ago? Maybe even a little bit longer than a week ago. And that one is finally, like I need to just get some baby oil and rub that one off. But this one still looks fantastic. I mean, seriously, look at that. I can see a couple little spots where it's starting to fade, but it, first of all, I mean, it just looks like a real tattoo. It really does. The first day it was kind of shiny, but then it kind of, the shininess faded, and I cannot believe that this tattoo is still on my arm. I am amazed. Let me show you all of it. Mm, there goes my deodorant. They sell these on Amazon, and you can get it in either the men's tattoos or the women's tattoos. It's a pack of just like miscellaneous tattoos, and it's only like 12 or $13 for a pack of a ton of tattoos. I'm not even kidding, a ton of tattoos. And look at this, look at this, look at the size of this thing. This is huge. This is, I mean, I think this is meant more for men. You could put this, I don't know, on your back, on your thigh, on your giant man arm. Like when I saw this, I was like, okay, that's not gonna fit on my lady arm. It's just not, my arms are not that big. I mean, you'd have to be a really big dude to fit this on your arm, like a really big dude. This is ginormous. And okay, so I've got the koi fish, and then I have this giant dragon guy, this size, which this, I, I still, I, I mean, maybe I could wrap that around my arm, but I think more for like my back, my tummy, my thigh, my butt cheek. I don't know, you guys, I don't know. But look at these, they're fabulous. And some of them, you know, I mean, I don't love all of the designs, but I like most of them. And I'm so blown away by the quality and how long it has lasted on my arm. And I mean, there's just there's just tons of them. These are awesome and amazing, and I wanna put them all over my body and just walk around like a Yakuza. There's a bunch of like these tiny little, these little wings, which, you know, I don't know. I'm trying to, just so you can see, compared to me and my 5'9 athletic body. <laughs> 
Um, but you know, they're like these little watercolor types and I'm probably wasting way too much time just showing you all these tattoos, but there's so many freaking tattoos in here, I could not believe it. I was like, what? Anyway, I freaking love these tattoos. I would highly recommend them. They will be so much fun for summertime and parties and you know, who doesn't love temporary tattoos? They're just fun, fun stuff. Okay, this sexy little box, this is from Vien Milano. This is made in Italy. And these are some stockings, some thigh-high stockings. It says, ciao Bella, your luxury hosiery is here. And it just talks about blah, 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 they're made in Italy. I love the packaging on this, by the way. It's just, it's just really lovely. And then you have your thigh highs, and they really go way up on your thigh, which is nice. They're not too short. And they have, you know, like this sticky, rubbery thing on the inside that helps them stay up. And these particular ones are like a fishnet uh, floral design, but it's just, it's like a stripe of floral, lacy looking, but I just think that they're lovely and they feel nice and sturdy, you know what I mean? Like sometimes you can get thigh highs and they're just janky, they're meant like, like costume thigh highs. These are not that, these are really nice quality and, um, and just super fun and lovely. And they have a bunch of different designs on their site and everything, so definitely I will link that in the description box for you. Okay, what do we have here? Also just picked up from my P.O. box. We have some of these Palm City Products Wine Charm sets. So they sent me three sets. I have the beach themed, world travel themed, and wine lovers. Okay, so let's open the world travel themed box. First of all, I like the packaging. I just think these boxes are cute. You can buy the boxes individually or you can bundle different boxes so that you can get, you know, lots and lots of wine charms. Uh, the beach themed and the world travel have 10 pieces and the wine lovers has eight pieces. So you can see they're just, you know, these cute metal charms on a little ring. They are nice and lightweight, you know, so they're not super heavy. I really hate heavy wine charms because then they go clunk, clunk every time you pick up your wine thing. Um, but these are nice and lightweight, which is great. I'm excited to use these. These are so much fun. These would be great for any sort of party, really, but especially if you have like some sort of a theme. Ah, I'm dropping them everywhere. If you have some sort of like a themed party, I love these. We've got Big Ben and the Eiffel Tower and the Leaning Tower of Pisa, just all of these fun things. These are super duper cute. So, okay, these would also make really great gifts for, you know, all your wine loving friends out there. Speaking of wine, I was going to do this separately, but I got a box of the Martha Stewart Wine Club and the, like, you know, for your first box, they always give you a discount. So the first box is $50 and you get six bottles of wine and I chose all reds. Let me show you the box. Ooh, so here's the box that it comes in. And I was really excited about it. It's like, oh, and it comes with food pairings and you know, all of these things and Martha's notes and you know Martha's a wino. So I was really excited and I thought, ooh, these will be good wines. And I was excited to get six bottles, but what they send you is two of these, two of these, and two of these. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? I don't even get six different bottles. What if I don't like this? And they do say if you don't like it, they'll replace it for free. But I didn't like any of these, so I'm canceling my subscription. I was really disappointed. It's not that they're terrible, it's that they're generic. They taste just like every other wine club out there. Your Wink, your Bright Cellars. I'm so like jaded and disappointed in wine boxes right now. I don't, I just, this is why I'm not doing a whole video on it and I'm not going to sit here and complain about wine. But seriously, I was hoping for a better box from Martha and I was not happy about this. Also the wine pairings that she gives you, rubbish, absolute rubbish. You get a generic, I'm talking drink red wine with meat and white wine with fish pairing thing. I mean, come on, that's just, I was, I was so disappointed in this. Like really disappointed. Honestly, if you want good wines and true pairings like for that bottle of wine, 
try weekly tasting. I've reviewed them before, I've gotten extra boxes from them because I really love them. The wines they send you are actual wines from wineries, not just some stupid wine club generic bullshit. Pardon my French. And then they give you like true pairings and what you should eat when you're drinking this wine and what you should be picking up with this, you know, and then you can watch a video with the sommelier talking. It, it's just, it's fabulously done. I will link my weekly tasting video. If you want good wines, go for that one. Ditch your Wink, your Bright Cellars, your Martha Stewart, all those, they're dumb. They're just, I mean, yeah, sure, if you want cheap generic wine for, you know, delivered to your house, sure, it's convenient. Or you could just go to like Instacart and have BevMo deliver you wines or something. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling because I really am like upset about this. Damn you, Martha. Moving on. Let's talk water. <laughs> so this is a metal water bottle and it's one of those ones that is like double walled, insulated, keeps your stuff cold or your stuff hot, however you want it. Um, and it's just, you know, I mean, it's just a basic, you got your silver bullet shaped kind of a thing here. But my favorite thing about this that sets this apart from other ones that I've seen and tried like this is that it has this little loop up here. It seems simple, but it makes all the difference in the world because now I can carry it. I can attach it to my bag or, you know, whatever. It's just, it makes it so much more convenient because otherwise you have to carry this around and it's not easy to carry. I mean, this is a big giant thermos essentially. And if you just want it as to be your, like your daily water bottle, having that little loop on there, I'm telling you, makes all the difference in the world. It's the simple things in life. Okay, all right. Um, this I actually picked up from Tuesday morning. I don't know if you guys know that store. It's kind of like, you know, your home goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, you know, those types of stores. Um, this was, yeah, it says compare at $17.99, our price $9.99. This is from a company called Woodwick. And the wick is actually, I've burned it, so it might be kind of hard to see. But the wick, the wick, the wick is, um, it's little pieces of wood in a little X formation. And when you burn it, it really does crackle as it burns. Just, I don't know, it kind of has, has this little extra ambiance about it, especially if you're just like in your room reading a book or, you know, doing something sort of quiet and meditative, you know, that sort of a thing, to listen to that little crackling. To me anyway, I thought I found really soothing and it just sort of warms my soul. Plus it smells amazing. This is, what is this? Like toasted sandalwood, I believe is this one? Yeah, toasted sandalwood. Oh, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. And I must have smelled a thousand of these ones and they all smelled so good. But you know, I like my sandalwood. Sorry, this is gonna be a super long video. This is, this is actually a bag of soap from a little company called Tiny House Apothecary. You can find them on Etsy. The company actually contacted me and asked if I wanted to review their stuff, but I was like, they're so cute. I just wanna help support their little small business and buy them myself. So I did, and she was so sweet and threw in some extra stuff for me. So anyway, this that I'm like having a love affair with smelling right now, this is the Stay Sexy Lotion Bar, and it's grapefruit and vanilla. Oh, it smells so good. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with lotion bars, but basically it is a solid bar that you can rub all over, all over your body and it just is so hydrating and smells good. Oh, I know you can get these from like Lush. My mom used to make these. I love this grapefruit vanilla. I got a ton of stuff from her. This little one she threw in there. How cute is this little skull soap? And it has real Swarovski crystals in there. I mean, look at that, that's just too cute. How am I ever gonna use this? It's too cute. This one is salted caramel soap and it has activated charcoal and it actually has salt crystals on the top of it. So when you wash it, you can use that like as an exfoliating, you know, salt crystal kind of a thing. Uh, charcoal is really great, especially if you have like oily skin or body acne or anything like that, this would be really great for you. Um, do be careful with the salt exfoliation part, you know, on your sensitive bits, but that's a really fantastic soap and it smells really great. I have the tobacco soap shave plus wash in my shower right now, cause I shaved with it today. This one is the vanilla antique shave and wash. So I'll show you this one. It's just a bar of soap and you basically just, you know, lather up and shave with it. And with normal soap, you get that film. And so it ends up clogging your razor and it can give you razor burn and not a very close shave. So I was, I was a little tentative to try this, but it actually works really, really well. And I've used it all over my body and had no issues with it. Plus it smells really nice. I'm loving those, those shaving bars. Ooh, this, oh, 
This, I just want to like slather my body in this. It's the mocha soap and it had, those are coffee grinds, grounds, grinds on, on the top of that right there. And then it's just shaped like a heart. How cute is this? Oh, it smells so good. It's like a mocha scent. Oh my gosh, that just smells amazing. Coffee is so good for your skin. Oh, and I have my Pure Castile Soap Grapefruit and Vanilla, and it's just a big bar of soap, and I've been using that one to wash my makeup brushes. I really love it for washing my makeup brushes because I used to always use the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. I just prefer that method. I think it works better, and I think it's more convenient to kind of just rub your brush on the bar of soap, and then I have like a one of those cleaning mats with like the little rubble, rubber bumps on it, and I just, I, I just find it really convenient, really easy, and it works really, really well. Um, this is made with olive oil, and that olive oil helps break down your foundations and cream products like that. So I just, it just works really, really well to clean your brushes. So, I mean, you could use it on your hands or your body or whatever, but <laughs> I like to use it for washing my brushes. I forget what this one is, but it smells really good. Anyway, um, I will link the Tiny House Apothecary in the description box. She has all kinds of amazing stuff. Various soaps, super cute soaps, soaps that are just, you know, good for things. I love the shaving soaps. This little guy, I mean, how cute is this? These would make great gifts. She also has lip balms and stuff. And I think she was telling me that she just changed her, um, her labels too. So if she sends me more stuff, I will be sure and share it with you guys. Uh, but I'm, I'm absolutely loving everything that she sent me. Ooh, this is super fun. Speaking of soaps, this is Elisa and this is face cleansing paper. First of all, I love the little compact that it comes in. This would be so fabulous for traveling and it does have a mirror in here so that you can, you know, check yourself out. And it looks like when I first got it, I was like, wait a minute, is this what I think it is? Because it looks like it's going to be one of those um, foundation compacts, you know, the spongy things. It's not. It's these little papers, very thin little papers and what hap and what you do is you put this in like the palm of your hand and you get your hand a little bit wet and then you la you just kind of rub your wet hand on this paper and it dissolves into a soap and you can wash your face with it how cool is that and the fact that it dissolves and goes away i think is so awesome because you know those those cleansing towels that you get them wet not not the ones that come pre-moistened like baby wipes, but the ones that you that are dry and then you wet them yourself. I love those and I use those to travel because they're so convenient for travel, but I hate using them on a daily basis because I think they're just so wasteful, those towelettes. Even like, you know, the ones that look like baby wipes, they're just, it's just a lot of waste if you use that every day. But for travel, it's better. And these ones, I mean, it's just the compact. I wonder if you can buy the refills. I hope you can buy the refills for them because I just, I love the compact and I love the idea of the little soaps in there. The soap does work well, but it's not going to remove all of your makeup. So I would suggest using some sort of pre-cleanse or something, or maybe wash your face a couple of times with these. I don't know, but, uh, but I do love the convenience. I love the compact. I think it's super cute and just a super great idea for a cleanser. Okay. This is from a company called Le Biarritz. This is Phyto Stem Cell Moisturizing Cream. The main ingredient for this is aloe, and I personally love aloe products. I know I've reviewed Key West Aloe, Tray Skin RX, companies that base their stuff around aloe, which is fantastic for your skin. And I really, really like this cream. It has kind of a thick, almost pasty consistency, but it doesn't necessarily feel heavy and it just soaks right into your skin and it doesn't leave your skin feeling or looking greasy at all, which I really like. I think this is a really, really lovely cream. Um, I've only been using it for a couple of weeks, so I will have a follow-up review on this as well as a giveaway. So if you are interested in that, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out. Sign up for the little notifications and everything. Um, but yeah, I've really been liking this so far. Another skincare product. This is from Hollywood Skin. This is the re invented age antidote serum so this one I just started using it's for anti-aging it has retinol in it now the last time I tried to use retinol the Neutrogena retinol system and it just my skin was so irritated so I said forget it I just can't do retinol so I was really curious to try this one because it is supposed to be suitable for sensitive skin so so far I've only used
used it a couple of times, um, but I haven't noticed any sort of negative reaction, so we'll see. Anyway, I will also have a follow-up review on that one. These are from Teamy. Now, I know I've posted about Teamy before, definitely on Instagram, and I think I've mentioned it in other videos. This company has sent me several things. In fact, they sent me this mask, which I'll talk about in a second, uh, but this little kit I bought myself. So I really wanted to try some matcha. If you follow me on Snapchat, I went to Starbucks and I got a matcha latte and it was basically just all sugar. And so I was like, forget that, I'll just make my own matcha lattes at home, right? And then looking for matcha, this stuff is freaking expensive. I was like, holy crap. So then I checked out Teamy and this four ounce bag plus this whisk was only like $40. I think it was $40. So I was like, heck yeah, buddy. Because everywhere else, one ounce of matcha tea was like $40. And this seems to be, I mean, it says it's ceremonial grade and it seems to be good. It certainly tastes good. I've been drinking lots of matcha lattes. I just make it with almond milk and I use my little whisk to mix it. And sometimes I put my moringa powder in it and I've, I've really been liking it. I haven't tried cooking with it yet, but I definitely want to. And it's just supposed to be super good for you. And I don't mind the taste of it. It's not as bitter as regular green tea, especially if you add you know, the almond milk to it. I think it just, it helps. So, because I can't stand green tea. <laughs> oh, and then this also from Teamy. So this one they did send to me, and this is the Detosk Mask Green Tea Blend, and it has matcha, lemongrass, and clay in it. I've only used this once so far, and it was super intense. It made me look like the Incredible Hulk because it is bright green, and it's a clay mask, so you put it on and then let it dry. And when I first put it on, it was like some major stinging, and I was like, oh, am I gonna have to rinse this off? But then it calmed down and it was okay. When I took it off, my skin didn't seem irritated or anything. So I will definitely use this again, but you know, just be aware it is a little intense at first. Okay, let's talk lashes. So I have these Ardell magnetic lashes. You can see they're kind of floating around in the box there. So I actually tried to film a video on these, kind of like a first impressions, me trying to learn how to put on magnetic lashes. They irritated my eyes so badly. I was like, this is crazy. And most of the videos I watched on how to use magnetic lashes, um, their trick was to cut them because if you put them on in smaller pieces, it works a lot better than trying to use one full strip. So I tried that and it definitely worked better and I got it to look okay once. <laughs> and it didn't irritate my eyes. So I'm still kind of playing with these and then I got those ones from Banggood and those ones I tried trimming them and I just, I can't get them to look good without, I don't, I don't know, I just can't seem to work with them. So I'm still trying to work with these. I don't know you guys, but then remember I did that video on Juno and co. Well, they sent me some lollipop lashes. How cute are these? And these are like a dollar each. So I have these more kind of natural looking ones, a little more va va voom. And then these ones, which are quite so I'm excited to use these. I haven't tried any of these yet. I just got them, but they look like they're gonna be pretty good. You know, I mean, I like the shape and the design of them. I love the cute packaging and I super love the price. <laughs> so anyway, I'll let you know more on those later. This is my Nailed It box. This was actually from February, I wanna say. Oh, this did not come in my Nailed It box. This I bought like, where the heck did I get this? Amazon maybe? It's just out the door, America's number one super fast drying top coat for nails. This is what I've been using lately to do my nails and it seems to be working fine. Okay, so my February box actually came with like a little dot tool and it has a smaller dot on this end and a bigger dot on this end. And I just thought that, you know, this was really cute. So I liked that. It had some of that foil stuff that you can kind of, you know, cut apart and then put onto your nails. And then it had some rose decals, some black rose wraps that I did actually use. I had those on my nails for a while and they looked great, I liked them. Yellow rose wraps and a stamping disc. I was going to do a full video on this, but I just never got around to it. I only used the one thing once, and since February is long gone at this point, I just thought that I would throw it in with this. I did cancel this box, not because I didn't like it, but because I wanted to try other nail boxes, and I can't afford to have all of the subscriptions. This is a fun little thing. I just got this as well, so I haven't actually tested this out, but this is 
Panty Fresh. And it's this little box, and in this box, well, let's just open it, and I'll show you what's in here, because this is, this is just too fun. I think that this is an awesome and interesting, unique idea. Okay, so you have this little, this little pouch, this little bag, and you can throw this in your pocket, because this totally would fit in your pocket, a little bulky, but you know, so what? But you throw it in your pocket, in your purse, in your car, in your locker, in your backpack, whatever, and you just have it handy, because what is in this little Panty Fresh bag? Let's see, let's see. This is super cute. Oh, okay, it kind of folds open. Um, we have here a feminine fresh wipe, pH balanced, hypoallergenic, free from chlorine, alcohol, dyes, paraben, and phthalate. Oh, we have a panty liner. That's nice, those can always come in handy. And we have a pair of chonies. This is a thong. They also have non-thong options. And you can choose, you know, what size you need, small, medium, large, that kind of a thing. And it's just, it's nice. This is like actual material. I mean, it's not made out of paper or anything, um, but they are meant to be like disposable chonies or, you know, in case of emergency chonies. It's a nice, you know, stretchy, that seamless material so it doesn't have the irritating, stretchy bits on the bikini line. This is, this is nice. Like I could totally wear these in an emergency, absolutely. These days I don't often need emergency chonies, but especially when I was younger, like in my college days, I was constantly either ending up spending the night at somebody's house, crashing at a party. When I lived in New York, every single time there was a snowstorm, I would get stranded at a friend's house every single time. I don't think it was ever home for a single snowstorm. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, and then you end up there and you can't go home because there's no transportation or maybe you've been drinking, whatever reason, you know, your walk of shame, whatever. You've got a clean pair of chonies and then you can put your dirty chonies in this little bag, you know, to like, throw back in your purse and save for later so you can wash them. You know, maybe you have a little period mishap or something. There's, I just think that this is so fun and fabulous to have an emergency pair of chonies stashed away in this cute little discreet, okay, it's not that discreet, it says panty fresh on it. <laughs> but it's kind of discreet and cute and little and it has, you know, a wipe and a panty liner and, you know, everything you need. I think this is so fun. Anyway, I think that is just a fun and innovative, cool little thing to have handy. And then the last thing in here finally right are all of these lip balms these are from a company called slick lips this one is in my jacket pocket somewhere and that one is the vanilla cake batter which oh, it just smells so good um, okay so here's peppermint ice so I'll show you the packaging is just super cute and then it's just you know a typical clear lip balm that smells amazing these smell so freaking good and the ingredients are all great and they just have fun flavors like drunk monkey is a banana one we've got juicy watermelon peppermint ice candied cappuccino which tastes so good um these feel really nice when you first put them on they're definitely a softer texture more on the oily side and they smell amazing and they taste good um, my issue with them is that they don't seem to last very long, you know, like you put them on and it feels great at first, but I don't, maybe it's because I keep licking them off. That could totally be my problem. I think also because it's not a very thick formula, so you know, thinner formulas tend to not last as long, but I do like the way it feels and it's not too waxy or anything. My kids love these. I had to steal back my vanilla cake batter from June because she kept eating it, but I do enjoy these. And like I said, my cake batter one is in my jacket pocket because I've been carrying it around with me and using it constantly. So anyway, I really love these. I will definitely leave a link to these in the description box. Okay, well, I think that's it. Let's see, I have some Fabletics tags. I think I got some more stuff from Fabletics. I was thinking about showing you my Fabletics and my Lululemon stuff because I did get some Lululemon stuff for Christmas that I don't think I've shown you guys yet. And I wanted to kind of talk about the two different brands and stuff. And I love Fabletics. I also love Lululemon, but Lululemon is incredibly expensive. So anyway, if you guys wanna see more workout clothes type of stuff, definitely let me know. Also, I was thinking for my daughter's school, I'm in charge of the decoration for their big fundraiser event, which is going to be a 20s themed thing. And so I thought maybe I would kind of show you guys what I've been doing, you know, just as far as like the arts and craft DIY kind of stuff. Do you wanna see that? Do you wanna see me, how I'm gonna do my hair and makeup, the outfit that I'm gonna wear? 
you know, let me know if you guys want to see any of that stuff and I would be happy to share that info with you. Okay, well, definitely make sure that you're following me on social media because you will get lots of sneak peeks of all this kind of stuff. Okay, so that's it. That's a lot of stuff. Definitely check out the description box for discount codes and links to anything that you might want to check out, especially with the stuff that I bought myself. I may or may not be able to find you a link, but I will do my best. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!